Hi guys. So, um, I had a conversation with a lovely woman this morning, and she brought up how she feels frustrated, overwhelmed, um, like she's doing so much for everyone else and there's not enough time for her. So, I thought that was a great topic and I remember feeling that way. It was only two years ago that I felt like um, my life was Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, my life was changing diapers, and my life was just on autopilot like that. So this is what I did. Um, I believe I heard it from Shalene Johnson or Darren Hardy. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not really entirely sure. But for seven days, no matter what you want to do, um, like whatever you need to change in your life, if it's your marriage, if it's money or um, food or fitness or whatever, no matter what you want to change, track it for seven days. Uh, it's a very if longer, if you track, the longer you track it, the more eye-opening it is, but if you track it for seven days. So what I recommend, okay, I find a blank page. For seven days, um, get a, a small notebook or seven pieces of paper and write down one through twelve twice. So it's the 24 hours in the day. Uh, and then you write down whatever you're, 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 like you're tracking your life. So for like the sleep time, I would chunk out sleep, 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 sleep. Um, when Hazel has ABA, it would be ABA, ABA, ABA. Cause that's like nine hours a week um so and then like scarlet with early intervention or speech i'll write those down in those hours and then i would also write down what else i'm doing in those hours so if you do that for your 24 hours like track your 20 track your 24 hours for seven days a week you're you begin to notice like oh crap that's like two hours of tv at night oh crap that's like i don't even know what happened to that hour but i completely lost it somehow down the line um, you're able, it's very, it's a visual thing where you can see what you're doing, you can see where you're going wrong and where you're just screwing up and wasting time. Um, there's a lot of things that I remember I really wanted to do, but I had to remove off my plate until the time was appropriate for me to bring them back onto my plate. There's also, it was a very big eye opener to like, just these blank chunks of time where I didn't really realize what I was doing and I was able to put more productive intentional things in those blocks of time so if you track that for seven days if you track your 24 hours for seven days you'll be able to really adjust what you need what you don't need what you're able to throw off your plate for now and what, I, what you're able to put on I know a lot of people keep adding stuff onto their plate. They don't ever take shit off. They just keep adding stuff onto their plate. And then they're like, I don't understand why I'm overwhelmed. And I'm like, well, dude, if you add something on, you got to take something off. Okay. It doesn't have to be super complicated, but like for me, um, I, I like to consider myself an artist and I had to really remove any craft project. I feel the drive to do. And that's why I really turned into my pictures briefly. Um, like, I, I just stopped crocheting, I just stopped drawing, but I just pulled out the drawing notebook again because I'm ready to re-enter that into my life because it's been gone for months. Um, same things with cro like with, with crochet. Like, I, I removed crochet from my life, I removed TV from my life until I was able to accomplish the things that I needed to accomplish. And I don't, I know you want to take care of yourself and I know you want to take care of your family and I know you want to take care of everything and find this equal balance. Well, that equal balance isn't going to happen until you acknowledge that there's something wrong and you acknowledge that you need to adjust it. Uh, it was a, it was a huge eye opener, even with money. Like if you track your money for a week, you, <laughs> you will be very pissed off at yourself probably for where your money is going. Um, I remember, I want to say like six months ago, David and I tracked pretty intently, um, our, our, where our funds was going. And we realized that a lot of it was going to just quick trips to the store. And that was a very big eye opener because there's no, if we, if we meal plan, there's no need to go quick trips to the store. You know what I mean? So that was a big, um, money saver to, to, to say the least. But if you feel overwhelmed and you feel frustrated and you don't know how you see all these people that look like they do it all, just literally one through 12, one through 12, track your 24 hours, write down everything you do all the time. I'll do it with you this week. Check everything that you do. And you'll be able to adjust it accordingly and get rid of the shit that you don't need. Get rid of the stuff that's not moving your life forward. Like TV. TV, um, I get, I, I promise you, I, because I, I lived it, I get how it is easy to get lost in it and it's easier to cope 
the television instead of the shit that's happening in your real life. Um, but it's important to deal with it because you're dealing with these things in your real life for a reason. And it's, you might not be able to see that reason right now, but you might be able to see it in two to six months from now. So I want you to know that you're worth fighting for and I want you to not feel so overwhelmed and clustered. So please just track, track like three or four of these, even if you're, if you're like a week, this chick's telling me a week, track it, track your 24 hours and you will see where your time is spent on the news feed. You will see where your time is spent on Facebook. You will see where your time is spent just not doing anything productive like television or whatever. And you can put the things that you want to get done that you'll get done someday in those blocks. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I hope you guys all have an awesome Mother's Day. Mother's Day is our daughter's fourth birthday. Um, and we'll be doing certain things, I believe, starting tonight all the way through Sunday. So if I'm MIA, I am sorry. I wish you the best Mother's Day. And cheers. Have a good one, guys.